boy, can you smell it? Wow, that is some smelly poop. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Today, we're gonna take a look at rabbit poop. I have some fresh rabbit poop and some not so fresh rabbit poop. Is there a difference? Well, let's take a look under the microscope. Come on. Okay, so I have my fresh poop here and you can see it right there, a little well-formed poop. And we're gonna go ahead and put this under the stereo microscope and see what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of open it up a little bit so that we get a little more information on the inside. Okay, here you can see that this is the um, fresh stuff. And uh, you can see uh, some rabbit fur uh, strands and, uh, and then the poop there. That gets a little closer. There you can see that is the outside of the pellet. So it's almost like there's this coating on the outside. And then on the inside, there's uh, quite a bit of material like hay. You can kind of see the fibers that are in all over the place from the uh, hay. Okay, so here is the two weeks old sample. You can see there's a lot of movement. What is this thing right here? Look at that. Is that odd or what? I don't think that's a maggot. I think that's something else. You see that? What is that? <laughs> There's a lot of movement in here. I'm not sure what this one is, though. Looks almost like a caterpillar. Oh, there's a maggot right there. This is a maggot. See that? And look at this one here. This kind of has like uh, spiny, spiny uh, protrusions there. So maggots are really small that you saw there. This is actually about a third smaller or a two thirds smaller than the maggot. Look at that. Oh, here comes the maggot again. <laughs> it wants some air time. Oh, two of them. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty impressive. It came right across the screen for me. Well, there's plenty of life in here. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is take all this to the compound microscope and go really deep now. I might actually check out some of these really small worms and see if I can check them out on the compound microscope and uh, maybe get a better idea of what they are. Um, so let's do that next. Okay, here I'm uh, preparing the slide and you'll see I'm um, adding in some of the sample onto the slide with some iodine. Okay, so here's a fresh sample with iodine and the iodine helps get a better view of the components. You can see there that corkscrew structure there, I think is a spirochet, but I'm not positive. That's a type of bacteria, although it would be quite, a, quite larger than your other bacteria that's in this video. So these are all little bacteria that are bouncing around and they're, they help decompose the, the materials in here. So anyway, this is a, a good view. This is at 400 power. And this is a piece of the hay that is undigested that's in there. And it gives you an idea of size. And this is another view. And I'm not sure what that red egg looking or oval structure is up at the top there. Um, but uh, it's very interesting looking. And there's two here. And I'm not quite sure what those are, but you can see there's plenty of activity with the bacteria all around it.
Okay, so here is a, a maggot that's in the two-week sample. And um, this is a really nice zoomed-in view of it. Um, these are small maggots. Uh, they're at the beginning of their growth stage, the phase one. And got a, even a smaller maggot there that's hitching a ride. Wow. So, uh, and then here is with iodine. Now, iodine actually killed... These are nematodes that are on the right side there, and they don't like iodine, so they died. But we're going to get a better look in a little bit with those. This is kind of a zoomed-in view of that nematode. And that iodine just uh, didn't sit well with them. The bacteria survived, though, which is interesting. So here's without the iodine. And we have some pieces of hay in there. Uh, this is at the 200 power. Here you see that spirit shit again, if that's what that is, which is a bacteria. Uh, that actually can cause Lyme disease. Um, here is the nematode without the iodine. And so it doesn't have any problem staying alive uh, with just a, a little bit of water. And so this is at the 80 magnification. Gives you an idea with that slide how big it is. So here you can see they're very active. All these nematodes are all over the place. This is a really nice zoomed in view at 800 power. Um, and this is the head of the nematode and you can see kind of the little bacteria that are around it and when it's this zoomed in you see this this water is almost like a thick fluid to any animals that are moving around in it And here is a, an interesting organism that we saw in the stereo microscope, but I can't identify it. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, very interesting movement, kind of almost like a caterpillar in a way. And you can see the nematodes there that are next to it to give you an idea of scale. And right now, this is just one little tiny, tiny water drop that it's inside of. And you can see it's pushing up against the the boundary of that water droplet and actually can't even burst through the uh, casing of the water droplet so it's pretty small not sure what that is inside of this this organism I don't know if those are intestines or whatever those stringy looking items in there you can see the spikes on the side that we saw in the stereoscope view. Wow, in that last slide, I wonder what that creature is. If you have any idea, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to find out. Well, thanks again for watching this video. If you haven't already, please take a look at these videos right here. I think you'll find them equally interesting. Take care, and I'll see you next time.